Hello, and thank you for trusting me to read for you. I'm just going to go ahead and give the deck a couple shuffles here. I would like to let you know that on my YouTube channel, I use a different camera than my phone. So if it zooms in and like shines on a card or like gets really close to a card or even some charms, I'll pull clarifying cards with this deck of cards. Also, um, at the end, there's a three card reading, which is a past, present, and future about whatever comes up with the charms. So, got that done. We'll set these aside here. And then, as far as the charms go, I shuffled this box, but it's really loud, especially if you have headphones in. So, I'm not going to shuffle it again while we're here because I just, it's so loud. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and randomly clean. This is a really happy reading. There's super happy energy just from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this up so that you can see kind of what's going on. And we'll talk about each, every, each and every one of these. But I just like to give kind of like a close up so you can see where things landed and how they landed. Because that in a charm reading actually is part of the reading is like the placement of things. So I really feel very much that this is a love reading because right here I have the twin flame or like the flame heart charm right next to the actual heart charm. And then it's cool because we have an airplane that's upright. So that means you are traveling towards what you want. Now, what I see is the word love is over here by itself. Okay. I feel that you have a wish that you could have this happiness, that you could have this like beautiful connection. I feel that um, you, it says we have song here, we have sing here, it's on top of the, uh, or under the one that says hope, dream, trust, love over and over again. I don't read, uh, I read gender neutrally, but there is a, a she that is involved in this. There's someone who identifies as a she in this. All right, let's go ahead and pull a, man, that spider I've noticed in the last couple of readings just really likes to give a lot of information. <laughs> I think that spider likes you guys to get extra cards. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get you one because I do too. I love lots of information. All right. So we'll do, we'll continue on the charms and then we'll get some information on that. <clears throat> actually, I feel like that has to do with this. Let's, let's look at it now. So this is actually showing as the judgment card. All right. So you have this situation that's going on with someone who identifies as a she, and you really want this to be happiness. And so do they actually, I don't feel that this is romance now. Uh, I feel that this is a she who is like kind of like your cheerleader, like a best friend person who's like, this is going to work. And the judgment card is about clarity. So there is somebody in your life who's giving you advice. And this person who's giving you advice about your love and your connection is giving you good advice. And they're really important and you need to listen to them because right now you don't see their perspective, but they have some life this might even be like a maternal, like a mother figure that's telling you things and you're like, what do you know? You've never done this before like this. And they do know this person knows love and they also know you. So I feel that there's a lot of things that started in April. You kind of started on a path. I feel like you've met this person in April. Things will kind of come to a culmination in June, which is like, you'll figure out why this person is in your life. This is a separate person. BTW. You'll figure out why this person is in your life. Like this person right here is giving you advice about this person. I feel that you have some romantic energy towards this person that we're looking at. And this person is like this maternal figure that's like, oh, pay attention to this. Think about this. And you kind of are almost feeling a little bit resentful. Like, what do you know? They do know. 
I promise you, they know. They know more than they're actually telling you because they're a little bit embarrassed about why they know what they know. So then this message says, what's for you will not pass you. So in this situation, you're in the learning section of this. So it's kind of like baking a cake and you get all the ingredients together. At what point do they become a cake? Are they a cake when it's on your plate and you can eat it? Or is it a cake when you decided to put it together so that you can eat it? So this connection with this person is kind of happening and moving forward, but it's not moving as fast as you want it to. You're not sure what direction it's actually going to go in. And I'll tell you, nobody ever is. Even if you have a psychic who is the world's most accurate, perfect psychic, we all have free will. That's what the beautiful part about being a human is. This energy is what it is for right now in this moment and usually for about three days. So that means if you are continuing on the path that you are right now and you listen to kind of what this person has to say for you, things can really change because the judgment card is about a wake up call. It's about like a final decision. See, in the tarot, we have each of these has a number. So the judgment card is number 20. So the cards go from zero, which is the fool, all the way to 21. So you are really getting close to ending a cycle of something that in the past has made you unhappy. Because I really feel that you are learning now and you're going to sing a different tune. I feel that you need to work on healing your heart chakra because in some of these connections, the reason you're getting your heart hurt is because your connection to yourself has not been healed. And what that means is when these people are coming in and you're meeting them and you're thinking, oh, maybe they're the one, you're wanting them to be the one that kind of gives you this connection that you're looking for, but that's actually going to be coming from you, from yourself. You have to love you. Self-care is a huge part of this reading because this person is potentially coming in and will be there in a ready for a connection in June. So you have a couple like 60 some days or whatever that you need to buckle down and focus on you. This is time that is about you and it will make things go just so much faster and get you closer to that love that seems kind of like out of reach. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to pull the past, present, future cards. And then we're going to see what kind of other charms we can pull because we are here together learning about this for at least 20 minutes. So don't you worry. You're going to get a lot of charms, but I feel like you need a little bit of like what ifs to kind of play out for you because you know, one of the really cool things about reading for people is sometimes I basically am like, okay, well, if you go down this path, this will happen. If you go down this path, this will happen. Because the beautiful thing about being a human is nothing is set in stone. Nothing at all. It all changes throughout our time. So like the thing that could be for you at one point could be different at another point. So that's the past of your situation when it comes to that we're going to talk about love when it comes to love. Now, this is not romantic love. See, English is a little bit difficult because we don't have multiple words for love. So we have like romantic love and maternal love. I feel like right now you're kind of dealing with some of that maternal love, kind of giving you insight and advice. So in the past, when it came to love, you were in the energy of the reverse seven of pentacles. So the reverse seven of pentacles is about getting to the point where you're giving up too soon. Cause like, if you look at this person, he's looking at this thing growing and like, why isn't it growing faster? Why isn't it growing bigger? And that's where you are right now. You're in this like energy of impatience, very impatient. And you're impatient because you want what you want and you want it now. And we all do. As humans, we're very like, come on, come on, come on. I'm here to experience something. Humans get bored. We don't like being bored as humans. So then your clarity on that is showing as the reverse six of swords. So the reverse six of swords energy is about 
being unable to move. It's about not being able to change things. In the past, you would get stuck. So the other clarity on that is showing as the upright ace of swords. But I do feel that you are working on a new mental clarity. And that's what got you to where you are right now. You've actually been doing a lot of awakening. And you're really starting to step into this like emperor energy, which is like planning and strategy. So you have a lot of guides that are working with you that do have some masculine like father energy. I also feel that you're really trying to be a balanced person, which balances from a balance of our feminine energy and our masculine energy. So you've had so much stuff going on in the past when it came to love. So then presently, we are showing that you are in the Queen of Wands energy. This is really awesome because the Queen of Wands is like self-assured and confident. Like you are more confident when it comes to love than you've ever been. It is okay to be really confident and still get advice from people in our lives. It's also 11 minutes and 11 seconds that this video has been going. So 11-11 is very important. So you'll want to look into that. So then if you stay on your current path, what does the future hold for love is showing as the reverse nine of pentacles. So the reverse nine of pentacles is about some jealousy. It's about some envy. So when you see other people having relationships, stop asking the question, why do they have it and I don't? Let's keep. So when we ask why, the universe gives us more examples of why. So think of if your teacher is trying to teach you how to do math and they say, okay, this is the formula and you say, but why? And they say, okay, well, let me show you another problem because the problem helps you understand the solution. So when you keep coming to the universe with problems, the universe is going to say, okay, well, let me give you another example of a problem so you can solve it. Solving your love problem will only happen when you balance your heart chakra, when you cleanse and balance your heart chakra. And you can do that through guided meditation on YouTube. There's literally free resources that will help you with balancing and cleansing and clearing that main heart chakra. Very, very important for you. Because if you don't do that work, you won't have the love that you're looking for in your life romantically. It won't be able to come to you because you're on the opposite side of letting it in. Because when you are still in the question asking phase, you cannot be in the receiving answer phase. So in that same classroom setting, you're sitting there saying to the universe, well, why? Well, why? Why, why, why? Why, 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 why? And the universe is saying, because, 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 because. And what's happening is you're not like going out to learn the lesson. So you really want to get into, why does that happen? Answer your own question. Say, why do I not have love? Well, I don't know. That's one of those life's great mysteries. But what I do know is that I love myself and I'm loving myself even more every day. And show your subconscious mind that you have the love that you need. So then let's go ahead and we'll pull some more charms and we'll ask the charms what happens if they realize that they have the love that they need. Now, I am going to shake this up because this is another reading. I don't normally do this because it's kind of loud. So be prepared. It's kind of loud, but I want you to see that I did it. <laughs> oh, Avery's right here. Did you just need to be an inspector for a second? Okay. All right. So what happens if you Okay. So first of all, you can't really see it, but or you might have seen it fall out. This is the word happy. Do you see how far away happiness is? And also it's very interesting because this is the charm for the mother. So yeah, there are some maternal things going on here. Next to the mother was the word kiss and a really big grin. Oh, okay. Okay. So what I see in that is 
I say that as you are listening to this person who's kind of giving you advice, because it is solid advice. There are people in our lives that can give us advice that we need to hear. And this is this person right here has advice that you need to hear. Because one of the things is, this is the charm for you. And did you see it kind of roll off like it had no idea what to do? Like the confusion that you're feeling is because the person who's trying to give you messages, you're not listening to. So pu putting yourself, learning from this person will put you back into a place of power where you then can be in charge of your life. The other thing I noticed, so we have, this is the, um, the charm for Ganesh. So I do feel that you are definitely on a spiritual awakening, but you've got some things going on. So this is the charm for like being treated like trash. You are not being very nice to yourself. You are not seeing yourself as the star that you are. You are the star and the center. You are the main character in the play of your life. But you have not been living that way. Because this is the charm for unconditional love of friends. And this was upside down. I feel that you are not really seeing the love that you deserve from the people in your life. And it's costing you. This is the highest denomination of coin that I have in my charm kit. And it's costing you a lot to let people treat you in a way that does not include unconditional love. And in some ways, that's what this person is telling you. You need to listen to this person. And your happy is so far away because you're not listening to this person. So I kind of feel that your energy is like, it's almost like this feeling of like, okay, I get it. Like there's some reluctance, but you also see some of the importance of dealing with and approaching exactly what's going on with this person. And listening to this person's advice is like a, this listening to this person will literally get you to where you ultimately want to go in your romantic relationships 10 times faster than if you just try and do it by yourself. Oh, you didn't know that. Yeah, this, listening to this person, it feels like they don't have your best interest in mind or like they don't see things you the way you want and you feel like they're just trying to like say, don't do this, don't do that, you shouldn't, let's blah, 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 blah. But it's really not like that. This person's actually saying really, really good information. But it's hard for us sometimes to look at like the, maternal people in our lives and say, okay, you're right. But in this case, I'm sorry, my friend, but this person is very right about what's going on. <laughs> and it's important. And I know that it will feel like, oh, well, I don't want them to gloat about the, the fact that they, they knew or that they are giving good advice. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to go to them and be like, you are all knowing. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just in your own mind shift and say, all right, well, maybe I'll listen a little bit more, but you don't have to like say anything to that person. You know, in the past, you didn't want their, their advice or their words that they were saying, and that's okay. You have free will. It's all right for you to say that. But your charms and the cards are showing that this person is someone who you need to listen to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a card for what happens if you listen to this person. What does it look like if they listen to this person? What? Oh, 17 cards fell on the floor. <clears throat> what does it look like for them in love if they listen to this person? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So if you listen to this person when it comes into love, the Knight of Pentacles is reliable. I feel that if you follow what this person is saying, you're going to allow someone who is more reliable to come into your life because the person who you're currently looking at is not reliable. They aren't giving you the, the depth and the time and the attention that you deserve as the beautiful human being that you are. And that's why this person says so much because they know that you can have this person. Cause remember you were over here on the floor having no idea what to do next. So you are being led spiritually. Also working with Lord Ganesh could be very beneficial for you when it comes to romantic relationships. 
But ultimately, this person right here is the key for you getting this reliable person in your life. When I'm talking about reliability, it means like they're going to text you back. They're going to call you back. They're going to show up. They're going to pay for their own stuff. They're not going to need you to, you know, buy me groceries this week, okay, and, and I'll get you back and then never pay you back. Like, they're they're going to be reliable. And I the reason I bring up that about not paying you back is because the King of Pentacles is, or excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles is holding a pentacle, which is a, a symbol for money and, like, abundance in the tarot. So I really feel that this person wants this to be your goal, but you're over here not knowing what to do. So take some advice from this person because they really want you to succeed. All right. Well, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you. And I look forward to trust to reading for you again.